History of Numbers Have you ever asked the question why 1 is 1, 2 is 2 and e3 is 3? Where does our number system come from? While the early Egyptians, Babylonians, Roman and Chinese were using their own systems, the Hindus in India developed another number system. The Hindus, while trading with the Arabs in Baghdad, shared their idea with them. The Arab Alabama Khwarizmi, made some changes to the Hindu numeral and later carried these ideas into Europe. Egyptian Numbers System Babylonian Number System Roman Numbers System Chinese Numbers System Al Khwarizmi. He has been described as the father or founder of algebra. The term algebra itself comes from the title of his book. Al Khwarizmi lived in Baghdad, where he worked at the House of Wisdom. The House of Wisdom acquired and translated scientific and philosophic treatises, particularly Greek, as well as publishing original research. Al Khwarizmi's work on elementary algebra, the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, was translated into Latin in the 12th century, from which the title and term algebra derives. Algebra is a compilation of rules, together with demonstrations, for finding solutions of linear and quadratic equations based on intuitive geometric arguments, rather than the abstract notation now associated with the subject. Its systematic, demonstrative approach distinguishes it from earlier treatments of the subject. It also contains sections on calculating areas and volumes of geometric figures and on the use of algebra to solve inheritance problems according to proportions prescribed by Islamic law. Elements within the work can be traced from Babylonian mathematics of the early 2nd millennium BCE through Hellenistic, Hebrew, and Hindu treatises. In the 12th century a second work by Al-Khwarizmi introduced Hindu-Arabic numerals and their arithmetic to the West. It is preserved only in a Latin translation. From the name of the author, rendered in Latin as algorithmi, originated the term algorithm. What's the logic that exists in this number system? There are angles behind the idea. One has one angle, two has two angles, three has three angles, four has four angles, five has five angles, six has six angles, seven has seven angles, eight has eight angles, nine has nine angles and zero has no angle. Today, many countries in the world adopt this Hindu-Arabic number system. Please, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment to this video. Continue to follow my channel, to get a broader insight into mathematics.